We have a bunch of animations that are walk and run cycles. When looking at these animations, we can see that the character is walking in different directions, but the computer doesn't know this yet. We want to analyze each animation to find out in which direction the character is running and how fast, the exact times in the cycle when each foot lifts off the ground and lands again, and the trajectories that the feet follow going from one step position to the next. First we monitor the trajectories of the heel and toe. We can take the average of these trajectories and project uh, the re result onto the ground plane. We calculate the average point of the projected tra trajectory, uh, then the point furthest away from that, yeah, and then the point furthest away from that. The two latter points form an axis that is being walked along. Now we have the, an axis of movement, um, but we still don't know how fast the character is walking. However, um, now that we have the axis, we can monitor the swinging motion along that axis. First we want to find out the time in the cycle when the foot is standing most firmly on the ground. We call it the stance time. We can find the stance time by finding the point in time in the cycle where uh, the swinging motion is as close to the middle as possible and when both the heel and toe are as slow on the vertical axis as possible. The stance time will be useful at runtime. For now we also want to find the lifting and landing times uh, for the foot. We can find these by starting at the stance time and sample the heel and toe fill and fill away from it until either the heel or toe goes above a threshold on the vertical axis or um, the swinging motion significantly changes speed on the swinging axis. It's useful to let the lifting and landing times uh, be time spans rather than single time values. The lifting time span starts when the foot starts to lift off the ground, for example with the heel, and ends when the whole foot stops touching the ground. Now that we have the landing and lifting times, we can monitor how far the foot moved between the landing and lifting and thus how fast the ground is moving relative to the character. This enables us to get the trajectories in world space rather than in character space like before. We can now see exactly how the foot goes from one step position to the next and we have both the direction and the speed and the step length of all the animations.
This, um, of course, is done for each foot. 